Okay, everybody, this is the complete transformation process for the Pangu Toys Mighty Miracle God. Now, you're going to see the video with the blue one in because these just share the same mold. They're exactly the same colours. However, this is the tutorial video for this one, which has got good feedback and comments. So I hope you find it useful. Okay, everybody, this is the complete transformation process for Pangu Toys take on a Mega Sentinel. Just a reminder, this is only the transformation process and the review is separately uploaded. Also, bear with me as this is going to be a tutorial. So I'm going to go through it nice and detailed. And of course, the same with all Omega Supremes, even from their incarnation, he's a bit of a parts former. So we're going to start by taking him apart. So let's take off his arms first and foremost. This is really simple. These just slot out of there like so. Now what I'd advise you do, we might as well do it now while we're here, push these down both sides because then of course you can see you've got a tab and a cutout on each one and there's your rockets and then that's done. So I'm going to move that out of the way just so it doesn't blur the camera. Right, then what we're going to do, turn your attention to the back and open this up, take out the track and again just for now I'm going to move them completely out of the way just so it stays focused on what's in front of us. And then finally, let's lift up these shoulders, tabs, these are what's holding all this in by there, and then slightly pull these out, and you can remove what's going to be the tank. So again, I'm gonna bring that back in in a second. Let's turn our attention, uh, I suppose let's do the upper part. So let's bring, turn these down first and foremost. I'm just gonna show you how to do it rather than, if I'd have done it myself, I'd have turned them straight up like that, then pushed it in. Then we'll push these in, they go like so. Then what you're looking to do is fold this over so that clips via them holes and tabs there, that's gonna clip in and then bring this all the way down. So you see the way that bit would have been there for the hold onto the track, bring it all the way down and cover it flat. Then you're gonna lift up all the hip skirts just for now and we'll come back to this in a second. Now if we spin it around, turn your attention to the legs take off in fact let's bring this down now so you can see take off these these will slot down out of the way the shin guards and now we're going to make of course the main base and tracks it doesn't matter if these just hang around if they're not going to get in the way it's not detrimental right let's start to turn the legs out then open these right out now inside on the back of this one particular leg if we spin it around if we spin this around you'll see there we've got this part we're going to open up this and this is how we're going to join the two sides together so if we open up that like so and then i'm going to rotate that around because this is going to connect to that leg like so but if we just keep our attention with this one side it's open like this you're going to take hold of these parts here lift these out these actually fold out of themselves either side extending this is really clever actually i really like this transformation extend them out clip them in and then without forgetting um, take the foot bring this out rotate it at 480 degrees and then you've got two tabs there which are going to fit into the bottom of that like so and then you can take the side pieces and fold them out then you've pretty much done the one side in honesty um, let's turn our attention to the other leg so that's going to look exactly like that now let's turn our attention um, to this leg so same principle spin this around you can see that let's open up the leg inside here is going to be the connector piece open this up we'll connect it all up in a minute let's turn our attention to this leg so spin this around turn it upon itself like so oh, no that's the underside so rotate it around like so fold this over there take the foot rotate this around same principle you're going to clip the tabs into there like so now we need to bring these out these were the bits that were tucked inside that fold out i've just done it a slightly different order for this way around it doesn't matter which way that you do it tab that in there fold open these fold open these now this is the part where it was underneath hopefully you can see this now there's the interconnecting tabs bring these together if i lift this up now you should be able to see what we're doing. Now, I don't know if it's my particular model or if it's just because it's a cheaper made product, but as you can see, the top half of mine just flops around uh, quite loose, but it's, it's not too bad. Right, let's get these to tab in. These are quite awkward, to be honest, but let's, there we go, that's gone in. It's now nice and supported. There we go, everything's clicked in. Turn this over. 
let's bring these skirts down and indeed lift this up like so because that's where the rocket's going to go the reason why you need these skirts is because this is where oh what's going on that's better that's better that's what it needed to do so the skirts are down you can attach these to the back like so oh what's going on maybe it needs to be on the other side it's underneath like so clipping it in and then we can attach there we go that's better just it's just too big for me to reach around on the camera right there we go there's that then of course we've got the rocket that we would just pop there um, and I'm gonna balance that there for you bring it even lower now we've got the track these fold out and you can tell you straight away two tabs two tabs this will just simply lift up we're going to press it down and the same on this side press it down repeat the same process for this side make sure that these don't come off sometimes these come off quite easily and if they do obviously you will not be able to attach it um, i had a panic moment where i thought i'd lost it uh, but managed to find it in the bottom of the bag that i was carrying it right so there's the base um, what i think i'm going to do is we're going to come onto the tank now so let me move this out of the way okay then so onto the chest which is obviously going to be the tank as well start off by unclipping these from the sides this is going to enable you to bring this whole part up like so spin this around 180 degrees and tap that into the top of there like so i like the way this transforms as well to be honest it's pretty clever and at the same time not too overly complicated make sure you clip that in then we're going to open up these side parts which again is all the track in fact you can open them all out for now i would probably advise you to do that open them all out open that out take this if you can get just inside there to lift that up fold this over and then tab that into the back of the tank and then take the front part and fold this up remember this is not going to have a battery in it it's just a simple case of building it all together you've got two tabs either side of this and two cutouts push these down and tab these in then it's a case of folding over these parts the front and then this is i suppose the toughest bit you've just got to line this up and it's not tough as in really hard it's tough as in it's just awkward and it doesn't always line up as you're about to see now the last part isn't tough the last part is the fiddliest bit see what i mean about lining them all up they do sort of go but it just always it's see what i mean it's just a little bit frustrating but it will eventually go we'll line all them up now the fiddliest part unfortunately is the head oh i've got to pop the cannons out let's take the, the, gun, the guns cannons whatever you want to call them bring these all the way out now the toughest bit is the head you've got this lever here which is going to help you spin but it'll get what part way and get stuck what i'd suggest you do is lift the visor up use your hand push it all the way around sometimes the visor comes off it's not detrimental clip it back on turn it around and there is your tank <clears throat> so what i mean about the sides of this though sometimes coming a little bit loose let's bring the base back in and there he is fully transformed um as i say the base isn't as good if you see the review as well i've got the full review up it's just a case of getting it all to line up once everything's gone in i'm making it look worse than it is to be honest it's not that bad this is just getting stuck um on there now but there you go let's bring this right up maybe that's it bring it all the way up out of the way there you go you heard it click now it's going to rest flush but there we go that was I'm not going to finish it there i've got to straighten that up at least there we go it's the fiddliest part it really is just because it doesn't want to stay and now the tab's got caught there that's lined that up that's lined that up you get the idea there we go right then let's take him back to robot mode so once again we're going to do this in stages let's move the tank out of the way let's slide the base out of the way let's start off with the rockets now in all honesty i wish i had my sort of little spludger with me because you can get this lift this up this just makes it easier and reach underneath and push this out that's obviously now ready to connect we're going to do exactly the same process on this if you can open up this there we go push that up and then that's the arms oh slot that back in that's the arms ready to go let's go to the tank then so let's start with opening up all of this which was of course the real pain to get in fold these up like so 
tuck them back in on themselves like that. They'll tuck away. Separate this part from there, fold that in and fold that over. Um, then we're gonna push the guns in. Don't forget to push these all the way back. And then we're gonna lift, lift these up to separate it like so. Fold everything in now. So cascade, fold over these parts um, in and ooh, this part as well. Wait, give me two seconds. Bring these in. You need to create enough space so that these will come over and slot in behind them gaps there. So this is getting caught at the moment on that. Fold it over and this should have fit there. That's better. There's a tab here which is going to tab into the top of that just to hold it snugly in and the same there. So yeah, I was trying to fold it over at first, which was of course completely wrong. That's pretty much done. All you need to do now obviously was turn the head back. And again, this is really awkward. So lift up the lever, try to turn it around. If you don't have any joy, pop the visor up or off, push with your thumbnail in there, turn it round, close the lever down, pop the visor back on. I can see most people doing that to be honest because it's just really quite fiddly and that should have been folded down. There's the chest piece, there's that ready. Right, let's separate the track then. Perfect, fold this over, nice and simple. Same over here, disconnect. Remember these bits, there you are, that's just come off. Keep them together, fold that over. Of course, take off the leg guards like so. And now we're gonna move on to the main part. So this is just a case of, I suppose, disconnecting it all and putting it all back together. So lift this up out of the way, and I'd say separate on the underside, first and foremost, just to give you back each individual leg. Close these together, disconnect the foot, fold this back. Now, as you start to straighten the leg up, that will just tuck very neatly in there. Super clever. Turn the foot around before we forget, and then start. This is what I forgot when I first started to do it. Fold these parts in straight away, and then cascade this part back in on itself. Same again up here, cascade this up on and over itself like so. Make sure that's fit in there. Fold this up, fold the foot down, and then don't forget you need to turn it around. The blue bit at the front means you need the front of the leg. Rotate this, collapse these up together, and there's one of your legs. So what I suggest doing now, just because it makes it easier, get one of the shin guards and indeed push it in and lock it straight on. There's the one leg done. Let's repeat the same process on this side. So lift the foot up, fold these over, collapse that into itself like so. Rotate the foot 180 degrees. Don't forget to fold these side guards in. I always forget them. Collapse these over on themselves. Very, very clever. I really like this transformation process. Fold this over. Make sure that stays in there. So again, make sure you've got the blue bit at the front. Turn this around 90 degrees so you can then close these over it. Bring the foot, close that down. Let's correct the legs now. Take the other shin guard. This goes down and then up. And then this looks backwards to me at the moment. It is. Rotate this. In fact, nope, what I need to do, that was all right. We need to turn the legs around 180 degrees because of course you need the blue crotch piece. Once this is up, straighten this up, lift this all the way up. What I'm going to do now obviously then is adjust the camera. In fact, I'll just keep it rolling. Bear with me guys. There we go. Open that up. Let's take the tank part. Let's slot this into position. Clip that there. These little tabs, as I say, either side will be hooked in via this coming over it will click in oh what am i missing there let me have a quick look hold it in that's better hold it in bring it down turn the arms down like so at the back fold the skirts down connect these two via the two tabs underneath and underneath make sure you've got the bend clip them in and finally Bring this up, slot this into position, and repeat the same process, of course, on the other arm. Oh, just missed it. Uh, typical screw, I'm trying to reach around the camera. 
I've made the easiest bit look the hardest, but I just want to reiterate as well, this transformation process works on any of the Pangu, Sentinel, Omega Supreme, Shattered Glass versions, any of them. It's the same mold. So I hope you found this useful. Take care, guys.